Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's video and welcome to my September reset routine. How many times did I just say welcome? Too many. This reset video is going to be a little bit different than normal. If you're new to my reset videos, I film these at the end of every single month. I do the same like few things every single time and it's a very casual chatty video. And we're switching it up today for a couple of reasons. One, I wasn't feeling it. I pride myself on being very authentic on my channel and I'm just not feeling like sitting down and setting goals and just having a chatty video. It's just not the vibe this week, I don't know. The biggest reason though is because I feel like I just don't want to set new goals for September. I really like the goals I set for myself for August. If you've not watched my August reset, I'll link it above, but I feel like they were really solid goals that I've really been doing so well on. I think it just makes more sense to continue to build those healthy habits and have the same goals for September and kind of continue what I've been doing. I just want to be a little productive. I'm itching to do some decluttering and I feel like because fall is coming, I feel like that's just a natural time to kind of reset your space, declutter, organize, change things up a little bit. And so I feel like it's just the perfect time to pause and do a big declutter. However, I have to be realistic because if you're new here, I am a stay-at-home mom with a toddler. So all that I have is nap time pretty much. And that's just not a ton of time. So this is definitely gonna have to take place over the next several days more than likely. I also wanted to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Factor. Meal prepping and meal planning and grocery shopping can be so overwhelming, especially if you are really busy this fall season. With Factor, they make it super easy and you can skip all of that and get fresh pre-made but never frozen meals right to your door while still getting the flavor and the quality nutrition that you actually need. Factor is fresh and never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat them up and enjoy. And if you are looking for more calorie conscious meals, you can choose the calorie smart plan, which is the one we personally choose. And each serving has less than 550 calories. If you've been here for a while, you know how much we love factor in this house. Michael and I both so look forward to the week that we know our factor box is coming because we know we're going to save money on groceries. We're going to save time with cooking. We take the lunches to work with us because they're so easy. They're already made or if we are busy and we don't have time to think about dinner plans that's just what we write for dinner is a factor meal and we each get to eat our own thing and it's always delicious i have never had a factor meal that i have not loved you can head to factor75.com and use my code emigrace50 and that will get you 50 percent off of your first box with factor thank you so much to factor for sponsoring today's video and let's get started you also might be able to hear that i am um sick which is wonderful. I also kind of look like I've been crying because it's one of those colds where my nose like burns and my eyes water. It came like literally right after I subbed for the first time. So on my list, a lot of the things I want to do are in our kitchen just because I feel like our kitchen gets so cluttered and messy. Every cabinet pretty much in our kitchen could use a good wipe down and a good organization. So that's like my absolute biggest goal. Also the fridge, of course. I'm going to wash my sheets. Um, I also want to go through my daughter's closet and clean that out. It's always a mess. I also need to like get rid of things that don't fit her anymore and pull down some new clothes that are a little bit bigger. I need to dust the ceiling fans. How often do you dust your ceiling fans? Because this is something I feel like I need to just like do regularly but I just don't and then something we did when we moved in that I want to do again because we have almost lived in this house for a year can you guys believe that we bought this house last September and we moved in in October which just feels absolutely insane Anyways, when we moved in, we had someone, and by someone I mean like, I think it was my mother-in-law, maybe it was my mom, I don't remember who, no one get mad at me, vacuum out all of our vents, like take the vent cover off and vacuum the dust and junk out, and I feel like we need to do that again, so I want to do that, and there's just lots of little nooks and crannies in our house that could use a good scrub down, could use a good organization, so we're just going to get done as much as we can, enough yapping, let's go. I think I want to start in our kitchen and I'm definitely not gonna have time during this last hour to get every single cabinet and crevice done. What I wanna focus on is just a little bit at a time because what I've learned about myself is I 
will bounce from one thing to the next to the next. And I know you're with me on this. Like I'll see one thing and I'll start it and then I'll be reminded of another thing and then I'll leave that thing unfinished and I'll go start something new. And then Jordan wakes up and the house is a disaster. We're not doing that today. So we're gonna take it really slow. We're gonna do one area at a time and we'll just see how much we can get accomplished. This is the little section we're gonna start with. These drawers right here. So here's the before. We've got our silverware drawer, which is the worst thing. It is the bane of my existence. These are like built in. I don't like them. I feel like they get gross, but I wanna take everything out do a good wipe down this is all just a mess this is where i keep jordan silverware and like straws and just random little things that we use often so i need to clean this as well in this drawer i also just want to take everything out wipe it down and i mean it's pretty self-explanatory what's in here it's just a mess and i know you probably have one of these too but have not taken everything out and wiped it down in a while. So I need to do that. This drawer is our Ziploc baggies. This is actually not that bad, but again, haven't taken it out and wiped it down in a very long time. So that's on the list. Oh yeah, this last drawer is busted. Jordan broke it. So honestly, I kind of want to like super glue it, but it hasn't happened. Tell me, baby, where are you going? drawers are done and then I did these cabinets these actually didn't need it surprisingly they're very when you look at it it doesn't seem organized it very much is I'm over the kitchen and I know she's gonna wake up at any time and I need to like move and do something outside of the kitchen because this is my least favorite place in the whole house to organize I think I'm gonna pause in the kitchen and I can do the other half tomorrow so I'm gonna try right now to go dust all the ceiling fans because that's very simple we'll see how much time I have left after that why are you keeping me around? This also just reminded me that I need to wash my sheets. So, since I just got dust all over my bed, might as well wash my sheets, right? Tell me, babe, what are we gonna do? Cause you got me in a bad spell. next day we are in jojo's room if it's not obvious someone is actually going to come to our door any minute now um, to like service our air conditioner so i'm going to make this quick i'm going to work on her closet um i don't know how much we're actually going to get done today because last night was one of the worst <laughs> nights we have had in a long long time i told you yesterday that i've been feeling sick and last night she got sick in her crib and then woke up every 30 minutes all night long and I am just exhausted especially because I don't feel good anyway and I did not get 
good sleep. Neither did she, obviously. Hi, Nina. Hi, Katarina. So, we're going to do our best today to get stuff done, but honestly, I think I'm going to try to get as much done while she's awake so that when she naps, I can hopefully take a nap too because I'm struggling hard. But I think while the guy is do, like servicing and checking our air conditioner, something easy I could be doing that doesn't require me to talk to you is doing her closet. I have a big tub up here that I keep when I buy future clothes. And I just need to go through that and pull down things that she can wear in the fall and then kind of clean this out with like... Her winter coat is not going to fit her in the winter, so I need to take that down. Like, just a lot of things that have not been taken out. That's my plan. pile of clothes that I need to store which is actually really sad because it's a lot and I've noticed that a lot of her long sleeve t-shirts that I did not realize are not going to probably fit her and I found a bunch of sweatpants for the fall and winter um, but only these two leggings are 3T and these are all 2T and I feel like I need to get some 3T sweatpants because she is a big tall gal and I don't think these are going to fit her the whole winter. So this is really helpful that I did this because now I know what I need to stock up on. Now I need to store all of that. What are you doing? down the man who came and serviced and checked our ac is gone and i just like put all of her clothes away officially and i'm gonna be honest i think i'm gonna go lay down i feel like you can see it in my face though like i just do not feel very well and i got jordan's closet done like i did something this morning and i got a lot on my list yesterday and this is gonna be like a week-long process so it's okay that i don't get a ton checked off today but i think that's the best decision for my own physical health today and then we can pick back up tomorrow and get a bunch of stuff done during nap time i know you don't care and i don't have to justify how i spend this nap time but tomorrow will be a better day i'm speaking it <laughs> good morning you guys it is the next day i'm happy to report that i am so <laughs> thankful that i took a nap yesterday instead of doing things and we all slept so well last night so we're back at it today it's Wednesday I was in the middle of getting ready and felt a little bit overwhelmed by my drawers I figured this could be kind of a natural time to organize it and this wasn't even on my list but I knew this would happen because you know once you get started and you start to notice like a thousand things that you need to organize so I'm gonna organize these drawers let me just show you also it is a little bit worse because Jordan just kind of took everything out so let me put it back in. <laughs> this drawer is like the main one I really need to work on. This is like my hair tools drawer, but I don't use a lot of these products. So I wanna go through that. And then this is the other drawer I wanna go through. This is where I keep my skincare, but I actually feel like, oh, okay. And I actually feel like this one's fine. I have like my nail stuff in here, all of my skincare that I use every day, all my dime stuff here. And this is like my makeup remover, my contact solution and retainers and then um, all my extras. But this one is a mess and this one is a mess. Here's my hair drawer. It still looks a little cluttered, but it's so much more functional. These are all of the actual hair tools. I have my shower cap and um, my blow dryer. And then these are my hair ties, which this, I used to have three of these. I had that one and this one. And then I had another one that I actually have in this drawer now, but 
Um, they were full of like scrunchies, hair ties, bobby pins, headbands, and I literally never used them. Um, and I still had kind of a hard time getting rid of too many scrunchies. Don't know why. Um, all of my claw clips, and then these are the hair tools. I did get rid of a few. These are the ones that I feel like I actually use on a regular basis. And then here is my makeup drawer. So everything that I use regularly is in this tiny little caddy and then like Hello. i said i had an extra so now her toothbrush and toothpaste Hello. have a home and they're not just rolling around we'll come back this afternoon and have time and see what else we can get done but that feels good to have something done first thing in the morning right off the bat it is time to finish the rest of the kitchen i'm absolutely dreading doing this but i really need to um i actually think a lot of these cabinets i did not that long ago but like the fridge needs a good clean out these drawers and cabinets down below need a good wipe down. I made myself a little iced coffee. Um, we're trying to pick back up again today. I'm feeling much better, which I think I said. So is Jordan. So we're gonna run with the energy. <laughs> that I'm over this <laughs> and this is gonna be the last day I do it. On the agenda for today is to vacuum out all of the air vents and I'm also gonna do Ellie's dog bed because I spilled something in it this morning so I disassembled it and then I'm gonna vacuum out her cage and just clean that. This is like a chore I never do because it's so hard to get all the pillows back in and get them like just right. So I'm already dreading putting that back together later, but it's fine. We're almost done. The end is in sight. to be it for my September reset. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you're feeling so motivated to go tackle some area of your home. I feel like this week of decluttering would have been a little easier if I hadn't gotten sick, but it is what it is. Don't forget to check out Factories in the link at the top of my description. And if you use my code, you can save 50% off of your first box. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye friends. <laughs>